Hi, I'm Kiara, and I have EDS, also known as Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Today I'm going to be talking about what exactly Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is, and giving you some more insight as to how it affects the body. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a group of disorders that affect the connective tissues. Connective tissues help support things like your skin, your bones, your blood vessels, your soft tissue, and your organs. Connective tissue is what the body uses to provide strength and elasticity. Normal connective tissue holds strong proteins, which allow tissue to be stretched, not beyond its limits, and then go back to normal position safely. Some of the symptoms include joint hypermobility, which is a joint being able to extend more than its normal limit, joint pain, joint instability, which would be dislocation or subluxation, and early onset osteoarthritis. Other symptoms include soft velvet-like skin, skin that is very elastic, skin that can bruise or tear easily, severe scarring, and poor wound healing. Lastly, there is arterial or intestinal fragility or rupture. A question that gets asked a lot is, does the flexibility hurt? So when hyperextending a joint doesn't typically hurt, it can do long-term damage for people with EDS. So if you are constantly doing party tricks, as we call it, where you're hyperextending or dislocating your joints, it can accumulate and end up having a long-term um, effect. Also, there's a lot of problems that can come from being so flexible. So as previously stated, there is dislocations and sublocations, which are the joints coming out of the socket or coming a little bit out of the socket, and those do hurt quite a bit. There are also a lot of other illnesses that are corresponding with EDS. So some of those include IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, or other intestinal issues. There's also POTS, which stands for postural orthostatic tychochondria syndrome. And basically what that means is when you stand up from a sitting or laying down position, your heart rate decreases. Similar to POTS, there's orthostatic hypotension, which is when your blood pressure drops when you stand from a sitting or laying down position. And then there's mast cell activation syndrome. Recently, there's been 13 different subtypes found for Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Each of these subtypes do affect a different part of the body. However, they all have hypermobility in common. So now I'm gonna give a quick overview of the 13 different subtypes for EDS. Now, please bear with me because some of these words I'm not quite sure how to pronounce. So first, there is classic EDS. With the classic subtype, you experience generalized hypermobility with your joints, and you also have skin hyperelasticity and atrophic scarring, which means that your scars are sunken. There's also classic-like EDS, which has the skin hyperelasticity, the joint flexibility, but it doesn't have the atrophic scarring. With classic-like EDS, you also have easily bruised skin. Next, we have cardiovascular EDS. With cardiovascular EDS, there's a lot of cardiovascular problems that are quite severe, including the aortic valve and the mitral valve. There's also skin involvement, which includes the skin hyperextendability, skin that can be easily bruised or torn, and also very thin skin. And there's also joint hyperflexibility, which is usually restricted to just the smaller joints. There's also vascular EDS. With vascular EDS, it is typical to have an arterial rupture at a young age. There's also usually family history with vascular EDS. Also the possibility of a CCSF formation in the absence of trauma. Next you have hypermobile EDS. This is the one that I have. With hypermobile EDS, you have generalized hypermobility in your joints, both the small and large joints. You do have dislocations or sublocations, and there is chronic joint and limb pain. There is also arthrochalasia EDS. With arthrochalasia EDS, there is congenital bilateral hip dislocation. There is also severe generalized joint hypermobility, multiple dislocations and sublocations, and skin hyperextendability. Next is dermatosporastics EDS. There is extreme skin fragility with cognitive or postnatal skin tears. 
There is redundant, almost lax skin with excess skin folds at the wrists and ankles. There's severe bruising, postnatal growth stunting, short limbs, hands, and feet. Next, there's kyposcholotic EDS. With this, there's congenital muscle hypotonia, which is low muscle tone. There is also congenital or early onset spine deformation, as well as general joint hypermobility with dislocations and sublocations, especially in the hips, shoulders, and knees. Next, there is brittle cornea EDS. With brittle cornea EDS, there is a thin cornea with or without rupture. Another symptom is the shape of your cornea is affected and the whites of your eyes are discolored. There's also spondyloid splastic EDS. Correct me if I'm saying that one wrong. This one's characterized by short stature, bowing limbs, and low muscle tone. There's also musculocontractular EDS. Some of the symptoms are congenital multiple contractures, which would be like a clubbed foot. Also characteristic craniofacial features and skin fragility and flexibility. Next, there is myopathic EDS. With myopathic EDS, there's loss of extension in your hip, knee, and elbows. There's low muscle tone, and there's hypermobility in the distal joints, which are the top knuckles in your fingers. And lastly, there is preodontal EDS, which presents with severe preodontis, which is a serious gum infection. If Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is something that you think you might have, I highly, highly recommend that you talk to your doctor about it. The only way to be officially diagnosed with EDS is to talk with your doctor. From there, they will either do genetic testing or you'll, they will see if you fit any of the clinical criteria. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you learned something new. Feel free to comment down below if you have EDS and what are the symptoms that you experience. Personally, I have the chronic pain, extreme hypermobility, and not so much skin hyperextendability. Have a great day and remember that you are loved.